Hey, now I'm at 205 Alcazar Street. We haven't done very many videos or photos on this particular project, partly because of the Hurricane Matthew, which thank God, nothing at all happened to this house. We've elevated it high enough where there was no water intrusion and water didn't even come close. But that being said, I've got a little bit of time, so I thought I'd walk you through. Some people have asked about this property recently, so I'm gonna do a quick video inside and out. Uh, the large cantilevered balcony that you see off of there is off the master. It's a dynamite view and great setup that we've come up with this floor plan. Uh, it's another corner lot. Today we're pouring the driveway and it's a rear entry garage off of an alley. So they're putting the driveway in there and there's also a driveway coming out front. Here there's going to be a paver elevated little patio. Uh, great for setting up some Adirondack chairs and just kind of chilling out. There's also going to be a larger uh, patio here on the side which comes off the dining room. This will all be pavers through here, including all the way up to that corner side there. Although it was not poured with concrete, it will be pavers as a final product. All right, I'm gonna continue to go on through the interior of the house. Uh, neat little floor design that we put here, an inlay of tile uh, here off of the front door. You come in through this house, you've got the family room, fireplace, Lots of windows, very airy and uh, bright here. Those are the windows off the front of the house. This will be the dining room area here. Kitchen with island, cabinetry across the back. There is a walk-in pantry for this house. Shelving will all be extended against that wall. This is going to have a barn door so it can be opened or closed. Barn doors are really stylish right now, but in the closed position, this study or Small guest bedroom area can be sectioned off from the, the main house. We really set this up as a study. There is a small closet to be able to store, you know, what have you. And it will also have its own door going out to the uh, yard area. Downstairs, here is your downstairs half bath. And then it's got a two car garage with the entry coming off of the alley for this house. So, be patient, I'm gonna head upstairs real quick, point out a few things up there. Same type of coastal look we've been doing with our stairs, all the risers match the interior trim. That coastal gray color that everybody loves so much right now. Eight foot tall doors, Cheyenne beadboard inlays on all the doors through the house. So this is the master bedroom, a very large size master, super, uh, Great outdoor living area here off of the master for the covered porch. Uh, plenty of room out there for chairs and a small little uh, table. We, kind of, we try to come up with privacy and, and natural light. So this window here off of the hallway going to the bathroom for the master is shoulder height. Just lets in natural light. Here's a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. Coming in there will be dual vanity sinks. Uh, one here, one here. Uh, lights, um, mirrors, private water closet, and then here is the shower, enclosed shower, very large niche little design here for soaps and shampoo. So there are three full bedrooms upstairs. That was the master. We've got another bedroom here, uh, double door closet there. This door is for the air conditioning unit. Washer and dryer set up here. There will be a, a sink in the laundry room as well as upper cabinets here. This is the shared bath for the other two bedrooms upstairs. It also has dual vanities, one right, one left. Tile work all the way to the ceiling. And then here is the third and final bedroom here. It has its own walk-in closet, pretty decent size. So that's a quick tour of this house. We should be done starting wood floor next Monday. We should be done with this house within the next three and a half, four weeks, just in time for Christmas. So if there's any other questions you have, give us a call. Thanks for watching.